Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Gentleman's Oracle, where we discuss men's fashion, fragrance, lifestyle. I'm your host, the Oracle. Now, if you already looked at the thumbnail, you know what it is. It's another list of compliments. You're probably thinking, why do I need another list of colognes that's going to give me compliments? Well, I can tell you what's a little bit different about this list. This is just theoretical compliment pulling. These are colognes that have been tested by me in the field, and I've received compliments. I'm not going to tell you, only tell you what they are, but I'm going to tell you how I got the compliments. So stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm going to start off, I'm going to get this one out of the way. I know you've heard of it. If you haven't, you should already own it. If you haven't, you need to buy it. No excuse. It's a compliment monster. It's a banger. Nautica Voyage. Now, look, everyone's told you, it's, you just got to have your collection. It's 20 bucks. It's a no-brainer. It gets compliments. My experience with Nautica Voyage, I will tell you. Okay. So I went out on a date with a Russian model, true story, and day was over. We're in the parking lot, and all of a sudden, she just grabs me and just puts her head in my chest and just sniffs and just says, ooh, you smell so good, but in a Russian accent. And I'm like, whoa, all right. You know, this wasn't a creed. This wasn't, you know, uh, any knee scent. This was $20 nautical voyage, guys. $20 nautical voyage. If you don't own this, shame on you. It's a guaranteed compliment puller. We got to put it in there and get it out the way. No. So let's get some good ones. Another one, one kind of knock out the way. Doesn't get as much love as it used to, but it's another great one. That's Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Now, if you're 20 years old, early 30s, there's no excuse to not have this one again. It's another cheap, it's like 30 bucks or so online. Uh, this one right here, I don't get crazy compliments with it, but I always get like a, oh, you smell nice. Now, a buddy of mine who wore it to work got a really wild compliment from one of the people who worked with, but that's not my story to tell. So I'm not going to tell it. However, I will tell you, if you got 30 bucks, again, you're showing the money, you can pull this baby out. You can't, it's just a no-brainer. Mont Blanc Lady Spirit. What is it? It's bubble gummy. It's uh, fresh. You know, it's just kind of a, you know, decent, you know, you know, how do you call it? Uh, everyday, you know, worker scent. Just get it in your collection. Mont Blanc Lady Spirit. Now, back to mine. Another one that you got to have in your collection, guys, and it will pull crazy compliments is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette. Now, if you're in a fragrance community, everybody's going to start chiming in. Oh, no, the Eau de Parfum is better. The Eau de Parfum is better. Guys, trust me. But the whole line is phenomenal. First of all, get the Eau de Parfum. But if you want to get compliments from women, get the Eau de Toilette. What is it? It's a spicy iris with a pear opening. But the pear kind of stays and gives it this cool, sweet sexiness, sexiness to it. Now, the reason why I like this, like this one more than the other one is that that pear is what makes the difference. It's, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet, making it just slightly sexy. And then with the iris dry down with those little spices that kind of push through, this thing is a banger, guys. I went out with a girl, and with this one, as soon as I walked in, she goes, ooh, wow, you smell good. And as I was sitting down, I hadn't even sat down yet. And I'm not like a heavy sprayer. I don't do, I'm not one of these 15 sprays or anything like that. It was like five sprays. And she's like, ooh, you smell good. Then as we wrap things up, she just kind of, you know, we were hugging and leaving. And she just held me close. And I'm like, all right, you got to have this one, guys. Now, you know, again, the EDP is talked about a lot, and it's a great sense. The difference is the EDP doesn't have the pear in it. It's more of a woody, Irish, spicy scent. And I would honestly say get the EDP for night, get this one for the daytime. But either way, this one is the one you want to get. Now, just telling you, trust the Oracle. Okay. Now, a lot of you guys don't like duos, but this thing right here, Dua Casino Royal Night. I have gotten some wild compliments from this one. This actually is probably my one of my number one compliment pullers, period. 
Now, what this is supposed to be is a clone of Pac Rock Rouge X Straight. It's a pretty good clone of it, but it, it performs very differently. It, it, it blasts. I was actually on an electric uh, bike and I get stop, went to the stop sign, stopped, and these people yelled. They're probably like 30 yards away from me and screamed and asked me, well, what is that cologne you're wearing? And I told them. And I'm like, wow. And it was funny because the guy was like, yeah, it smells good. And the girl was like, yeah, that smells good. I'm like, well, you better watch it, girl, because, hey, you know. Uh, but you got to have this one, guys. This is a really good scent. I don't know if they have it. Do it one of those things where they have them in stock, they don't have them in stock. And to be honest with you, almost all of their Bach Rock Rouge type scents are pretty freaking awesome. Uh, another good one is Casino Royale. I won't talk about that in this video. But, you know, definitely get your hands on this and get your nose on it as well. Uh, ho, 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 ho. My other baby mama right here. Zaro's most wanted eau de toilette. I think I think this one's eau de parfum. But anyway, it's the original Zaro's most wanted. Um, you know, this is pretty much my go-to, you know, first date scent. My fact, true story, uh, the Russian model. We had a day date, I wore Wale Parfum, um, and then the night date, Zaro's most wanted. And then another day we had where it was, was with the Nautica Voyage. But uh, she loved this one. This one is uh, very cool in that it is, it, it really, it, it, it performs differently on my skin almost every time I wear it. It's got this, this uh, caramel scent, you know, toffee caramel scent that comes in. It's really sexy, but sometimes it'll come up boozy. And then sometimes the fruit opening kind of lingers a little bit longer and it just kind of moves in and kind of just transforms. And I love it because Every time I wear it, just a different part of it comes out. But each time, it's super sexy. And the compliments I've gotten from this one are crazy. you got to have this one in your collection. Now, there's other ones. The, uh, there's one by night, but that one's discontinued. Uh, then there's the uh, um, Parfum version of Most Wanted. They're different. This one has the toffee note. The other one doesn't. The other one is a great scent, too. But the toffee note in this one makes you kind of edible, guys. Just think about it. Get it. All right. Another one that, quite frankly, doesn't get a lot of love in the fragrance community, but I've had great success with this one. O-G-Y-E-D-T. And I believe Bowtie talks about it, too. This is, this is my number one favorite in this whole wild line is the Lay Pop one. That thing, that's, that's baby mama. That's, you know, that's my go-to. If I need to impress someone, that's the one I'm going to get. Lay Pop form is the banger. I know Eau de Parfum gets all the rage and all that, but there's a metallic note in that doesn't vibe with me. I've got the entire line, um, but this one consistently outside of Le Parfum, uh, this one gives me the most compliments, largely because it's a little bit more versatile than the others. I was at work one time, and uh, man, you know, the thing about the wise, and I don't know if any, any of you guys have them, tell me, I love to hear your compliments on it, but I go nose blind to them almost about 15 minutes after I spray them. I don't know what it is about them. I know they're still projecting, but, you know, I can't smell it. Anyway, um, I got it, and I was at work. I was wearing it. I hadn't smelled it. It was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This girl, I'm walking into the aisle, and one of the girls like, oh, Jarvis, you smell really good. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that was why EDT, you know. Uh, this is the OG version. Now, there's two, as many of you will know. This is the original version, which is still available online. Okay, the new one, which is the 2022 version, is really good, too. It's a little different. It, 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 it pulls a little bit more from the DNA of the white uh, Eau de Parfum, so it's a little bit sweeter, sweeter and a little bit candier than this one. This one has, is more on the wood. Uh, it's uh, in the sage, uh, but it's a great scent, guys. It, honestly, any one of the wide uh, SLY lines, if you have them, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't get it in your collection, y'all already know, guys. Y'all already know. Delon Long EDR EDT. But here's a little caveat. This is something, I, the reason why I put this in, I should have probably said this at first, is this one comes with a little bit of an asterisk. 
okay? This one I actually wear with Tom Ford Lost Cherry. The way I do it, I wear this one as normal. I spray my arms, you know, however you're going to do it. And then on my stomach, I spray one spray of Tom Ford Lost Cherry or one, or one of the inspirations, whether it be Bright Cherry from with the Mason Alhambra, Think Dua has a Pop Cherry. It doesn't really matter. And you just need the scent. What it does is it pulls the cherry note out of it just a little bit more. Guys, this thing, when you do that, this thing is crazy. I'm telling you, crazy. Uh, went out on a date with a girl. And this is actually when I first started guiding into fragrances. Just like many of you, I saw uh, Jeremy Fragrance, you know, kind of talk about this and go, ah, you know, all that. And uh, and so I went and bought it. Wore out on a date. And so um, I put it, I did the lost, the, the, the lost cherry uh, on the stomach. And I had this in my arm. And I just asked the girl. I was like, you know, what do you think about how I smell? And she goes, honestly, I want to lick your arm right now. True story, guys. Uh, what more do you need to say? She wanted to lick my arm, guys. Galan Long EDL EDP with Lost Cherry. Now, I will give you a caveat. This one's getting pretty hard to find. Probably is the only one that I feel that's in the same vein that's pretty close to it, uh, in that same sexiness style. And for, for those of you who don't know what this smells like, this is a cherry, uh, leather, almond note. Um, and um, it's uh, it's just a banger. It smells great. Uh, but Azaro's Most Wanted, I'm sorry, Azaro's Wanted by Night, which is unfortunately also discontinued, gives off this, this same vein. And if you really want to get more than the fresher, uh, you know, uh, there's um, Aqua Digio's, um, what is one? Is it not a Senza? But the... Um, well, I'll tell you in the next video, guys. It's the uh, it's not it's one that looks like a sensor, but it's not. It's um, uh, I can't remember. It. Sorry, guys. It'll come to me. I'll put it in the comments later. But it's also very sexy. This is this is sex in the bottle. Oh, the story behind this one. Another story. I have another story behind this one. Actually, it's pretty good. So I went to me uh, have dinner with an ex, and you know, you ever you guys ever have an ex where you pretty much know they, you know, they still kind of hate on you a little bit, and so. Anyway, I wore this one, uh, and actually on this I wore it by itself that day, which is this no 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 cherry cherry uh, no uh, cologne on it. And um, as I'm coming to sit down, she's like, "Oh my gosh, you smell good." I got the breakup with her wasn't great, so her giving me a compliment it took a lot out of her, and that means this thing had a hell of an effect on her for her to give me a compliment. So that tells you how powerful this one is. Which leads me to another one that, um, uh, in that same vein, it doesn't get a lot of love, but it's also a great one. That is actually the EDT of Galan. Now, actually, I've gotten crazy compliments on this one. It's fresher. Uh, it's the almond fresher version. So, whereas the EDP has the cherry in it, this one is more of a fresher almond scent. Uh, almost primarily at night, to be honest with you, uh, in fall and winter. I, I can't pull this one off in the summer, and I've tried. It's just a little too on my skin this one i can wear pretty much year round and it's very sexy and it's got that freshness on it i was at work in the elevator and again the girl was just like oh my gosh you just smell good and kind of went on about it like oh you smell sophisticated and what this is it has like this almond note and it's fresh and it just guys i mean if you want to smell like you know a million bucks almost like a great gaster type guy this is the one where it doesn't get a lot of love or fragrance community but quite frankly i've gotten uh, they're not as crazy compliments as with the EDP, but they are just as good. Definitely would advise getting this one. Now, another one that does not get talked about a lot either, um, and uh, I, it's just a good scent, uh, and it's pretty affordable as well. Halloween Man, um, the still raised the Halloween Man. Now, if you don't know what it is, basically what this is, it's like Pacroban's One Million, but... Uh, like a fresher version, a little bit smoother. Now, if you've got one million already, I really don't think you need this one. Uh, if you don't have one million, I actually like this one a little bit better just because it's a little smoother to me. And on my skin, it comes across great. Uh, one of the stores I have with compass on this one, I was going to a coffee shop, Starbucks. Uh, and man, this thing was projecting pretty strong, guys. Uh, I was, I don't know, three people behind. And the, the, the barista was like, man, this compass smells really good. I didn't say anything. I didn't know what she was talking about. The coffee shop. Could have been a coffee. Who knows? Walk, get up to the counter. And then she goes, that's you. 
oh my gosh, that smells so good. What is that? And it's like, well, you know, it's a nice little thirty dollar sin, Halloween man. It's great. Uh, you know, thirty bucks, guys. This is a must buy. I mean, it smells great. It's uh, it's fruity. Again, it's a little bit fresh in the Paco Robbana because Paco Robbana is very fruity and spicy. This one, you get this freshness to it, um, and uh, I just love it. To me, it's also a little bit more versatile than the uh, Paco Robbana one. And last but not least uh, is, this is actually, and, and by the way, this is in no particular order. These are just colognes uh, that I get compliments from. And these aren't the only ones, but these are just some of the more memorable ones. Uh, this one right here, is actually I gift it to everyone uh, because it's just such a guaranteed compliment for me. Uh, may have heard of it, may not, uh, but I think they don't come into people's compliment list either. And that is something we milestone. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know, this is a clone of Millicene Imperium, uh, and it's a pretty good clone. Now look, let's just be real: Millicene Imperial is smoother. Uh, it doesn't project as loud, and so. If you can buy military Imperial, get military Imperial, okay? Uh, I am not anti-clone, but I am definitely pro by the original, you know, uh, largely because, uh, you know, not only the artistry, but if you want the scent, buy the scent, okay? If you can afford it, okay? So, and I don't look at clones as substitutes. Um, more often than not, they have their own little twist to them because they can't get to the original anyway. This is one, though, that, it just gets compliments, guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's a it's a great entry scent. If you know what Millicent Imperial is, it's a salted watermelon. It's a fresh with a touch of citrus. It's a great scent. Women love it. Uh, men love it. It's very loved. If you ever go to like a Neiman Marcus or a Saks and you wax the tree, they're going to show you Vintage. They're going to show you Millicent Imperial. Those are the first two things they're going to show you. Okay? And odds are you'll probably like this one better than Creed. Although I do love Creed of uh, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, my compliments with this one are just consistent. I don't really get crazy. It's not like super sexy or anything like that. But if I wear it, someone's going to compliment, oh, man, you smell good. Okay. And also, you have to think about it, guys. With men's scent, a lot of them smell the same. They're citrusy, they're woody. They got a whole lot of watermelon-based scents for dudes that come across masculine and sexy. So get your hands on this one. And again, it's inexpensive. Matter of fact, I didn't realize it. I didn't do this on purpose, but quite a few of these were inexpensive. 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks. I don't know why y'all ain't got this one yet, but shame on you, you can get it at Bloody Walgreens. What are you waiting for? Okay, this one. These are pretty inexpensive. Now the others, you know, you know, um, pretty inexpensive scent. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colognes that will guarantee you compliments from the Oracle. And you got to go get them, guys. Okay. Uh, I'll put some links down at the bottom if, for you guys to order them. Uh, they're not going to be affiliate links or anything. It's just I want to make sure you guys get them and try to find the best prices for you. Uh, but these are guaranteed compliment pullers, guys. You don't have to look any further. I'll have more uh, of these coming soon. If you like this compliment, I'm sorry, if you like this uh, video, please like it. Uh, if you really like it, subscribe. There's going to be more content uh, about fragrances, about fashion, about lifestyle, about tech. You name it. We're going to talk about it, guys. Uh, please give me your compliment. I would, I've been comp I keep saying compliment. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Comment. Please give me your comment. And also, please post your sense of the day and tell me some uh, fragrances that you've gotten crazy compliments and even tell me some of the stories and if they're really cool i'll share them and give you a shout out thank you guys for watching oracle